My mother always said my face would freeze like that. What? Try and smile, kid. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, all right, we'll work on it. How about Doreen? She's sleeping in. She's still uh, pretty upset about yesterday. So why don't you and Cassie just drop it? Obviously, she's not going to tell you anything, Mel. Is that what you want? It's her childhood. And Daddy's. And your mother's. Well, I can't speak for them. Maybe somebody should. Why, that is not going to change anything. <sighs> They're sick, Mel. Okay, and digging in some family secret is not going to make any of them better. Maybe not. <sighs> you disagree? I do. When I see you getting so upset like this. What are you afraid of? That it isn't over. That whatever it is that made Addie and my mother both go crazy is the same thing that made Blair push Taya out that window. What if I am the next one to flip out? To flip out? Blair has asked Taya. That was an accident. Blair was on the brink of losing her daughter. Blair's on the brink, period, Mel. Honey, calm down. Blair isn't about to lose her mind, and neither are you. Well, isn't that why you're asking all these questions? Because you think that we're insane? Of course not. I think you're scared. And I know Dorian is, and that just doesn't seem right to me. Dorian has always done everything for me. Shouldn't we do something for her now? I don't know if I could help, even if I wanted to, Mel. You said that my mother's riding accident could somehow be important, but... I've told you everything I know about that. She and Dorian were racing. Melinda was thrown from the horse. Yes. And uh, her injuries ended your mother's musical career. Yes, and that's all I know. Well, maybe Melinda will remember more details. Have you given any more thought to paying her a visit? Y Ian and I discussed it last night. And? And I'm sorry. I cannot see her. I can't. Okay. okay, it's, uh, it's your decision. <laughs> you don't understand. You don't know what she's like. She'd be fine for one minute, and then, and then... Something would set her off. Like what? I don't know anything. A lamp. I was nine. I had my best friend over to play. We were playing tag in the living room, and I bumped into a table, and I knocked over a lamp. It was French, I think, in the base. It had a figurine of, of a little girl, and she was in a yellow dress. And I still remember seeing all the broken pieces on the floor. And my mother rushed in, and she heard the crash, and when she saw all the broken little pieces, she froze. And it was so quiet. And she started to shake and scream at me and, and, and cry. And she just kept crying. She cried all day. And the next morning, she would not come out of her room. And, you know, I, I, I got scared. I, did, I didn't know what to do. So I called the doctor. She kept his number on the refrigerator. And he came? Yes, he came with everybody from the hospital. And they went into a bedroom. And they stayed for a very long time. Then they finally came out. And they said they needed to take her away. And she walked by me like she didn't even know I was there. She was probably very heavily sedated, honey. Probably. You know it wasn't your fault, don't you? I did. I did then. Don't you want an explanation? The truth? I mean, your mother's under medication now. She can't hurt you. Literally. Stay here, I'm gonna go show you something. What you want to do?
wanted to show me? Yeah. It was a Christmas gift from Aunt Dorian when I was six years old. And when it came in the mail, I begged my mother to let me open it right now. And, and she said, um, no, we have to put it under the Christmas tree and, and wait. Go on. Well, it was wrapped in, in beautiful golden ribbon with a huge gold bow and next to the other gifts that just shine like a star. What was it? It was a doll. It, it was porcelain. It was the most beautiful doll I've ever seen in my life. I called it Dorian. And I carried it around under my arm all day. <laughs> Sounds like a happy memory. Yeah. I, I remember it, the smell of pecan pie. But no, it, it, it wasn't a happy memory at all. Why? What happened? After my bath that night, I couldn't find Dorian. And my mother and I looked all over the house for it. And then finally, my mother called up to me from the kitchen and said, Kelly, I found her. And I'll never forget what she said. Dorian had had an accident. Oh, oh honey, I am so sorry. You're untouched. I'm so sorry. It must have been terrible for you. It's all right. No, it's not. Why have you saved this doll all these years? And it obviously upset you so much. And what made you bring it down now? I, I, I was just telling now about how mother was. My sister was brilliant. Very gifted, just like our mother. And as a girl, she played the piano beautifully. Why did she stop? Because she had an accident on a horse. She fell? Yes. And she fractured her, her arm and her wrist and tore the ligaments in her hand. They didn't heal properly. End of story. Were you there when it happened? Now, Mel, what part of end of story don't you understand? <laughs> I just thought the uh, accident might have triggered Melinda's first breakdown. My sister had a chemical imbalance, which they did not know much about in those days. Nowadays, of course, they have wonderful medication, and, and, and it is helping her. Progress, that's what I like. Moving forward, you know, I don't like to bring up past sorrows. I like to put them behind me. Sweetie, as hard as that may be for you, I suggest you do the same. Now I'm going to finish getting ready for work. Excuse me. Hmm. I put you in the middle of this. You didn't. I don't know if I agree with Aunt Dorian anymore. I'm beginning to think that you can't bury the past. It's like it comes back anyway. 